The stunning look of new hardwood makes any home great. It comes in many colors and species to match the style of your home. You can choose traditional solid hardwood or a more budget-friendly alternative, engineered hardwood. You can install engineered hardwood several ways, staple down, nail down, glue down, and floating. Your application will depend on your subfloor and specific product. For any method, you'll need to prep your subfloor, lay out any underlayment if needed, and mark a starting line. You can see how in our online video. Here are some tips for all methods. Let your flooring acclimate to the room temperature and humidity for at least 72 hours. Some products need to be removed from the boxes, others don't. Check the instructions, follow the specifics for installation. Also, before you get started, check for warped and defective boards. A few bad pieces are not uncommon. And it's a good idea to install the boards from several boxes to mix up color and shades. Add up the flooring width to calculate the width of the last row. If it's skinnier than one inch, cut the first row in half. While you're installing, try to keep a few things in mind. Maintain the recommended expansion gap at the perimeter of the room. Always stagger the joints about six inches and avoid stair stepping and H joints. Try to get a few rows between joints that are lined up. Got it? Let's get to work. Of all the installation methods, floating is the easiest. It works great over existing vinyl and some flooring even locks together to make the installation even easier. To start, be sure you've prepped the floor with underlayment and layout lines. Use the longest, straightest boards for row one and set your first piece on the starting line, tongue side facing the wall. Place spacers against the wall to maintain the expansion gap, typically about half inch for floating. On the next piece, overlap the boards so the end joint is tight. Work left to right to finish up row one. At the end, you might need to cut. Set the piece face up and cut through. For row two, angle the piece into the first row and fold flat to lock it in place. Same thing for the next piece. You can use a tapping block to help lock pieces together. Then, just keep going. It's that easy. Remember to keep your joints tight and staggered at least six inches. Cut around any obstructions like vents or columns. To get under door jams with locking engineered, you might have to shave off the ledge of the groove in the previous row. Apply a bead of glue to both pieces and slide into place. Hold the pieces together with painter's tape until the glue dries. When you get to the end, you might need to use a pull bar to wedge the final strips into place. That finishes the floating installation. Want more great ideas and how-tos? Go to lowes.com slash how-to or click subscribe. To see the other installations, like how to glue down on concrete, check out part two.